One Stop Channel for all things RC and hobbies. Today we're going to be doing another video on the Tea Beacon. Um, if you've looked at my last video on the Tea Beacon, I did a demonstration on how to install these cables in your uh, aircraft and then just connect up your Tea Beacon uh, in order to, uh, you don't need to put buy a Tea Beacon for every craft, you just have the cable and you plug this in and then you can just have your tea beacon ready to go as soon as you power on the machine the tea beacon goes on and you get your power from your um, from your receiver and if you had a gps you connected up the gps and you get your gps coordinates well today we're going to go one step further because uh, it, i found it inconvenient uh, installing um, uh, uh, finding out what the, the transmit for all the gps uh, devices I have. I have a few GPS devices and some of them there's just no documentation. So what I did is I ordered in, this is a U-Block 7, it's a mini GPS um, and I'll have a link to this, it's available from a variety of sources. I paid $11 for this so it isn't expensive and I consider it uh, a good investment. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to marry the GPS to the T-Beacon so that it's a self-contained unit, all we're going to do is feed the power off from our receiver. And I'll show you that when we actually do the wiring. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to marry these two, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's talk about um, the process. What I'll be doing is, they're both 5-volt units, okay? And you notice I've already put on what the uh, ground and, and power, as well as the transmit and receive for both, both devices. Just uh, point uh, to those of you that buy this, the documentation is of course wrong. The transmit and receives weren't the colors that they had mentioned in the, uh, in the ad. So uh, I, th I thought it wasn't working. And then I actually I took it apart and I actually there's a label on there for what is the transmit and what is the receive. Uh, th I then followed that information and it worked perfectly. The black and red, I'm almost sure it's going to work because I'd get too many rejects. But the uh, transmit and receive colors were um, mislabeled or uh, either on the product or on their website when they sold it. So what we're going to do is we're going to be connecting up the black and red from both of these devices. And we're going to be connecting that via a standard, um, a standard cable. We're just going to be using a an extension, a servo extension cable with just two wires, uh, the black and the red. And we're going to connect this, the black and red from both devices and the black and red for the servo extension lead. And this is going to go into the receiver and that's going to provide power. I'm then going to wire the transmit from the GPS unit, which is transmit is orange. I'm going to connect the orange wire up to the green receive wire on the uh, T beacon and I'm going to actually cut these all down because I don't want all these wires here because I'm going to put this all together in a, in a shrink wrap so when I come back I'll have the reds all connected and connected up to the servo extension as well as the transmit in the uh, GPS unit going to the receive in the T beacon so let's take a look at this uh, when I come back as to uh, how I wired this all up and we're back. Now we, we've uh, uh, cut the wires, as I said we were going to do, and we've soldered everything together. We've soldered the reds to the red, blacks to the black, and <clears throat> we've added a servo lead uh, with only the black and the red. It's just to uh, let me know that it's only a power cable. And this is what's going to be going into uh, a receiver on the uh, craft, and that's going to provide power. Um, now, the manufacturer is working on a new model that will have the GPS on it. And I'm assuming that what he does, uh, it will <clears throat> overcome one of the limitations of using this process of putting the GPS together. And that is, is that the GPS will be powered by the onboard battery and it will stay uh, providing uh, <clears throat> data uh, as long as there's power in the battery. This technique um, has a limitation in that when you use it, uh, if the battery is lost in, in the crash, the GPS will only have the coordinates of where it was uh, from the last reading, which could be a few seconds ago. 
it reads every 10 seconds, so theoretically it could be as long as uh, 10 seconds since it's last reading. So it kind of um, kind of makes your search area a bit bigger. And that's only assuming if the battery is uh, uh, falls out in the crash. Uh, a lot of times you don't lose a battery. The T beacon will always be working. So even if this GPS will get you uh, close, when the battery, if the battery flies out in the crash, you'll it'll still be close enough to get you to the proximity, and then the T beacon itself will really get you uh, right onto the product. But if the battery is still in the craft, you're going to get um, uh, you're going to get right up to the product using the GPS coordinates. Uh, these other wires, the uh, other two wires from the T beacon, this is the uh, voltage uh, from the um, uh, the flight battery. I don't use that. And the other is the is the uh, is the TX uh, for the T beacon, which isn't going to be used here. Uh, I'm now going to uh, slide on a bit of shrink uh, wrap to, uh, and also the TX from the uh, the RX from the from the GPS isn't used. So that's why those three wires are out there. There is the uh, voltage, the flight pack voltage, and the um, RX on the T beacon and the, uh, the TX on the T-Beacon and the uh, RX on the GPS are used uh, in this set. So I'm going to be putting the, uh, a little bit of shrink wrap over this to put everything uh, neatly back into its, uh, kind of make everything look neat. Uh, you want to leave enough room so you can take this plug out of the T-Beacon so that if you ever want to plug the T-Beacon into uh, your computer, to either get uh, GPS coordinates or to modify the settings, uh, you need to be able to put in the um, uh, the um, UART uh, connected plug uh, in order to do that. So I'm going to just shrink wrap that down, give myself a little bit of room to take that uh, wire out. So here's the, what we have. We have a completed a completed T beacon with a GPS. Uh, and uh, I've tested this out. I'll test it again. I'll come back in. The one thing I did, and I have to tell you that um, when I did this for the demonstration, I didn't see the blue light on the uh, GPS, so I thought I wired it incorrectly. I hadn't. Uh, the only time that the, the, the blue light will be blinking that you can uh, see it is when it's actually obtaining a GPS lock. And since I'm inside and I have no access to a GPS, uh, and in fact, I had it wired right, the blue light wasn't blinking and I thought I had made an error. I hadn't made an error, but I took everything apart and now I put it all back together again. And I'll, uh, I'll test this out, and, uh, but uh, I, I can tell you that this works really good. It's small, it's compact, this will uh, pop into any, uh, any craft, plug into the, um, uh, the receiver and power it on. And away you go. As soon as you add power, uh, she's ready to go. So I'm going to, uh, uh, I've tested this out already and it works really, really good. Uh, it's small. Uh, I highly recommend this uh, product. Um, and uh, with this modification, at least until they come out with their new modification, I think this is a reasonable, um, a reasonable uh, alternative to actually doing what I did in my previous video, and that is, adding a cable to every GPS device in every craft. This is self-contained uh, and I will put one of these leads in every craft uh, so that all I have to do is use the one and then plug it into the cabling I'll have into every craft. Plug it in, put in my battery, this will power on, get my coordinates and away you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, T-Beacon and GPS connection. Uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe to this uh, channel uh, so we can make more videos on these uh, and other subjects. So thank you very much for watching uh, and have a great day. See you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now.